I believe communication is one of the most valuable skills we have when it comes to living in a more connected world. Yet, I see so many people using the skills of communication without learning important principles that drive communication. Today, I want to share with you my idea about how three principles of communication can transform the way we connect with one another and experience this beautiful world we all live in. You see, communication has always been fascinating to me. I grew up living in Bangladesh. My father was a businessman who traveled frequently. So we grew up traveling with him all the time. We traveled a lot throughout Europe and visited many countries in Asia. I became fascinated by learning about other cultures and the way that they engage with one another. Over time, I became fluent in several languages. But it wasn't until I moved to the U.S. to go to college that I truly started to understand the power of communication. I was staying in a dorm called a quad. A quad, for those of you who may not know, is a dorm room where four students have their own bed in the four corners of the same room. So I'm Muslim, and one of my roommates was Jewish. I'll never forget going to kneel down to say my prayers, and my Jewish roommate was staring at me across the room like, what is she doing? So as I was saying my prayers, I had my hands in the air like this, you see, because that's how we end our prayers. My roommate looked at me and asked, what are you doing? I finished my prayers and replied, I'm saying my prayers. And she then said, oh, we don't pray like that. She was used to seeing prayers as this. Uh, or this, but she wasn't used to seeing prayers like this. So here, she's shocked at how I was praying, and I was shocked that she was shocked because I had been exposed to other cultures. I knew how Jewish people prayed, how Hindu people prayed, or how Christian people prayed, but I had become blind to the fact that other people didn't see the same diverse perspective as I had from being immersed in other cultures. So where she saw me as being a little odd or weird, I saw us as being different. And different isn't bad, it's just different. I'm from a different culture, not an odd or weird culture. It's all about perspective. And here's when I learned the first principle in communication that connects our world. Differences don't have to divide us. They can unite us. I could have gotten offended at my roommate and requested to be placed in a different room, but that wouldn't have opened my eyes to a different worldview, and it wouldn't have helped my roommate either. Instead of allowing our differences to divide us, we chose to allow them to unite us. We began to learn about one another's cultures and background. We asked questions about one another's families and their beliefs. And while we never became best friends, we were still able to live and study together in unity. And I tell you what, I think we all can agree that less division and more connection could go a long way in our world. One way we become more connected is to know that differences don't have to divide us. We can allow our differences to stir our curiosity and inspire us to ask questions to see what we can learn from one another versus giving so much energy to judging one another. I encourage you to ask yourself, how can I learn more from people who come from different cultures? Who in my life do I think is weird because they're different? 
and how can I learn more about their worldview? You see, this type of communication requires curiosity, openness, humility, and grace. And that's something any of us can do to contribute to a better world. Principle number two, active listening plus listening in between the lines equals greater understanding and connection. Imagine that as someone is speaking to you and there is a transcript of what is being said and you can read line by line like this. Active listening is about hearing, empathizing, and comprehending what another person is saying to you. It looks like this. Listening in between the lines is not about hearing what's being said directly. It's about being attentive to what's being implied indirectly. Like this. Imagine what could happen to our relationships when you listen actively and listen between the lines. Imagine what could happen to our businesses if we started to pay attention to what's being said and what's being implied. One way we can do this is simply by asking ourselves, what is this person saying with their emotion that they're not saying with the words? What does this person mean by what they said? Because remember, Principle number three, what people say is not always the same as what people mean. And what I mean by that is when someone from India says the word respect, that can have a completely different meaning than someone from America who uses the word respect. I'll give you an example. One day, I was working with a client who was moving from Los Angeles to Baltimore. She said she wanted a nice, quiet place in the city of Baltimore because she worked in a stressful work environment. She wanted to come to a serene place where she could relax and unwind after work. She said she wanted to do all those things by moving to downtown Baltimore. That's what she said. But however, I knew what she meant. I knew what she meant because I understood her needs. I knew what she meant when she used the word quiet. I knew the busyness of downtown was not going to provide her with the density of silence and stillness that she was looking for. So I brought her some listings outside of the city where I felt she could have the place of refuel that she wanted. She ended up getting one of the homes I suggested and was so grateful that I understood her needs. We developed a deeper level of connection and trust throughout that experience because I listened to what she said, but also understood what she meant. And that's a powerful observation when you think about it. I mean, think about how marriages would change if married couples understood that when their spouse says they don't care where they go for dinner, they really mean they do care. They just don't want to pick. Think about how families would change if parents understood that when teenagers say they'll do their chores, what they mean is that they will clean the house half as good as their parents. Understanding what people mean by what they say is so important when it comes to deeper connection, better relationships, better customer service, better sales, better everything. I can't imagine what my life would be like if I never learned the value of communicating and all that goes into connecting with people from different cultures. I would have never been able to sell millions of dollars of real estate to people from across the world. I would have never been able to teach these principles to other real estate agents and help them better serve their customers and family. 
I would have never been able to help more than 5,000 female victims of acid attack and sex trafficking gain their dignity back and learn skills to help them become successful. But since I did learn the principles that drive communication, I was able to do all of those things. And I can only imagine what can happen if our families and communities started using the principle of communication to connect more deeply in their everyday interactions at work and at home. I wonder if there would be less home violence and more forgiveness. I wonder if there would be less community silos and more community gathering. I wonder if there would be less wars in the world and more global collaboration. Well, I hope this speech helps put my wonder to the test. I hope people in this room and those who will watch online give people grace when what they say is not really what they mean. I hope they'll begin to listen between the lines with greater understanding and empathy. And I trust that people will allow their differences to unite them instead of dividing them. This is communication that connects the world. My name is Samina Chaudhry. Thank you. It's been an honor to share my perspective with you today.